Thailand crisis, blast targets Bangkok protest rally. A blast at an anti-government rally in Thailand's capital, Bangkok, has injured at least 28 people amid an ongoing political crisis. The blast took place at a rally led by protest leader Sotep Thorg Saborn, who was unhurt. At least eight people have died since protests, triggered by a controversial amnesty bill, began in November. The protesters have been blocking major road junctions in Bangkok since Monday and are camped out in some areas. They want Prime Minister Ing Lakshinawatra, who they allege is influenced by her brother, deposed leader Thaksin Shinawatra, to step down in place of an unelected, People's Council. Missing Luck has called elections on 2 February, but the opposition are boycotting the polls. The Prime Minister has called for restraint and so far security forces have sought to avoid clashes with protesters. There are well-armed groups on both sides that appear ready to escalate the violence. Shots fired. A deputy national police spokesman said Friday's incident took place shortly after 1300 hours local time 6 o'clock GMT reports suggest an explosive device, most probably a grenade, was thrown from a building. The bomb went off about 30 meters 100 feet from Septep and then his bodyguards escorted him back to a rally stage. Spokesman Okanat Prompain told the FP news agency. Footage from a local television station showed injured people on the ground as medical crew rushed to help. In recent days there have been reports of small acts of violence at protest venues, usually in the evening. Shots were fired at protesters from passing motorcycles north of Bangkok earlier on Friday with no injuries reported. Earlier this week, four undercover police officers were captured by protest guards and badly beaten up. The protesters have been causing significant disruption in Bangkok since Monday, blocking key intersections in what they are calling a shutdown of the city. They say they will remain in place until the government resigns. On Wednesday Ms. Luck offered to discuss postponing the polls, but Mr. Satep boycotted the meeting. On Thursday, the country's anti-corruption commission said it was investigating Ms. Luck in connection with a controversial government rice subsidy scheme. The scheme guarantees Thai rice farmers key supporters of Ms. Luck's government a much higher price than on the global market but critics say it is too expensive and vulnerable to corruption. If Ms. Ng Luck is found guilty, she could be forced out of politics.